Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is February the 18th, and on January the 14th, we planted our funky pink begonia seeds. And on January the 20th, they started coming up for us. And I want to show you here. You see the roots coming out of the peat pellets. So it is definitely time to transplant them. So I have my container here. It's about a four inch container. And I have my Miracle Grow potting mix in it. Now my Miracle Grow is nice and uh, warm. It's not um, wet. It's nice and dry. So I won't have to worry about anything uh, caking up or packing down too hard. And we're going to start planting these here. So I'm going to show you how I plant one of them. And then um, when they're all done, I'll come back with an updated video. And I'll show you what they look like. I'm just going to start planting this one here. Get a little tray here to set this on. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to... Fill this up some more here. And my soil is nice and warm, which our begonia seedlings, they're not going to like cold soil. So I have my soil in the basement right now. There we go. So I'm going to take my little some stuff here. My little seedling here. And you can see the root system. It developed a nice root system on it as well as the rest of them did. And I'm just going to kind of nestle it in some. Go. And I'm going to take my little garden tools here and I'm going to fill in around it. And I am letting a little space between the peat pellet and the container because I want a little water reservoir there for when I water them. Now I'm not going to go over, let me move this up here just a little bit there, because our ground's going to settle there after we water it, water it, sorry about that, and I'm getting any hard clumps broken up here, okay. just filling around it, whoopsies. And if you don't have little garden tools like this, you could use like a plastic spoon or something like that. Just filling in around it nice and gentle. And we will still feed these once a week with our miracle Grow plant food that we mix up for our begonia seedlings because we are still going to feed them with that mixture. And we'll make sure that our soil is nice and moist before I feed them because I don't want to burn anything. I don't want to burn the root systems on them. And I don't want my begonia leaves touching the soil. Uh, when your plant leaves touch the soil, it can lead to disease and fungal issues. So I don't want my begonia leaf there to be touching the soil. So there we go. I'm going to give it some water here. Sure. And while I'm getting them more water here. Um, this funky pink mix, I believe it came out last year. Okay, so I got my water here and I'm just gently gonna water it here. Oops, too much there, a little too quick. And as you can see, our soil settled. So 
I'm going to be taking some more of my miracle Grow potting mix and I'm going to be filling in around here. And I have 11 plants total, so I'm really curious to see what these are going to look like. They look beautiful by their picture, so. Hoping. I will label these then so I know what they are and I do put the date down when I transplant them just so I know okay there we go and you can see I left a little space in between the soil and the peat pellet because I don't want my soil to go over top of the peat pellet so that's how I transplant my begonia seedlings. When I finish with all the rest of these, I'll come back with another video and I will show you guys what they look like. And we are gonna put them back under our lights then when we're done. So we'll be back. Okay, so we're back and I got all of the funky pink begonia seedlings transplanted. We have 11 of them here. And I am still going to feed them once a week with the plant food mix for begonias. I'll leave a link below in the description for that video on how I feed them. And you can just see them here. So if you like my video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below, and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit that little notification button. I'll tell you when I put a new video on. Thank you for watching, and hope you have a nice day. Bye.